Hi, it's Stephanie. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. I am super excited to share with you an idea that I had. I'm moving my sewing room. This is just going to sound like a no-brainer because it feels like a no-brainer, but I just hadn't thought of it. And now that I have, I'm pretty excited. So let me tell you how this happened. Settle in. I've got a little story here. <laughs> I was looking for something the other day and a picture and I couldn't find it. Now I used to have a blog. It's called luluscottage.blogspot.com and it's still there if you want to go look. I, um, it's pretty much like this channel but it was in writing, blog style. And so I was looking for a picture and so it went, it goes all the way back to 2009 was my first entry into this blog and it's just the same subjects I talk about here. And I found a picture of my sewing room from 2009 Oh my gosh, it's the same. Nothing's changed. Some of that fabric is the same, hasn't changed. Like, oh. So, I kind of hate my sewing room. I kind of hate it. I thought about upgrading it or changing it or, you know, just purging it. I've done that a couple times and it looks the same when I'm done purging. It looks the same, like I didn't even do it. And so I thought, well, I could take like take everything out, rearrange it, put it back, get some new shelving, I don't know, get rid of some stuff. And I just had this idea. So I have a home office. I did a video on when I remodeled it and painted it and stuff a couple years ago. And I've been doing most of my office work at our studio, at our photography studio. And I have an office there. <laughs> So do I need two? I don't even do that much office work to have two offices. So I thought, you know, I'm mostly doing stuff there. So I'm going to take all my office stuff, just put it down there so I don't have stuff in both places because I'm getting confused sometimes. I'm like, I get home to work on something and I left it at the, at the office. Or I'm down at the office and I left it at home. So I just need everything in one place. And that's getting to where it was all down there anyway. So I thought, I'm just going to clean out my home office and turn it into my new sewing room. It, I don't even have to buy anything. It's already cute. It's already painted. Um, I, I definitely want to make this a project that, you know, evolves. And so I do want to make some, you know, changes in furniture and stuff, but I am so excited. I mean, I couldn't wait to just start moving stuff. The first thing I had to do was clean out my home office. Oh my gosh, I had a bunch of junk in there. How do I get so much stuff? I need to get rid of more stuff. So I got rid of a bunch of stuff. A lot of it was just stuff to throw away. It gets old. Things get old and they're not, you know, they're not valuable. No one wants them. I've just got old notebooks and old stuff. So I got rid of a bunch of stuff. I moved the rest down to our studio and put it away. And I had a blank canvas. Um, I couldn't move my desk, it's pretty huge. So I decided to turn it another direction and use that as my cutting table for now. It's definitely a interim. I want an actual table. I like the table, I can point to it. I like the table that's down here. You've seen me use it, paint it white, put it in there. That would be nice. Or I might try to get something taller. I don't know, it's a wide open. Um, <clears throat> I have some Ikea furniture down at the studio so I might swap and bring those Ikea desks, those would be better in the sewing room, and swap them with my desk, so I'm thinking about that. So things are gonna happen. But right now, as is, I brought my little shelf that I used for my sewing machines, I brought it up there, and <sighs> let me show you. Well, the countertop has been moved. I'm trying to get things out. There's my partner, still working as hard as ever, aren't you? So it's a work in progress. That cabinet's gonna go. This desk is gonna stay for now. I'm gonna clear it off. It's gonna be my new cutting table for now, temporary. I'm gonna put my monitor over here and then I can do office -y stuff still in this room. And I'm gonna put my ironing board on that door. We'll see, it's gonna take shape. So it's already coming along. I haven't sewn anything in there yet. I'm dying to. That's the next step because I am not going to rush to bring a bunch of stuff up there. I don't want to bring all this crap and ruin this room. So I'm not bringing my baggage. <laughs> I'm leaving my baggage. I'm not bringing it. 
I'm just gonna bring what I need. I brought my little chest of drawers up there that has all my basic supplies that I really use, and I'm gonna put my patterns in some of those drawers that you see on the wall that are there, they're empty, so I'm just gonna use that, and then I'm gonna do some like, cute little words on the drawers, and I don't know, I'm gonna decorate. I want a decorative sewing room that's also functional. So that's my plan. I made like a little list. Do you wanna hear my list of what I want my sewing room to be? And this is my sewing room wants. Cute, not junky, cutting table, place to sit, place to use my computer and monitor so that if I do wanna do some things here like working on a YouTube video or whatever, I can still be at home. Um, <clears throat> place for sewing machine and serger, easy to reach supplies and cute fabric storage. So the word cute keeps coming up. I have been pinning on Pinterest like crazy. So I'm seeing some themes kind of show up. I definitely think my color that I already have in that room is definitely what I want to keep. So that's not changing. Um, really, it's just the little things like how am I going to store stuff? How am I going to organize? What's going to be functional? How's it going to work? And don't junk it up. <laughs> that's my that's my mantra. Don't junk it up. I don't want to junk it up because I am really good at having too much stuff that I'm never going to use. So nothing's coming in there that I don't want. I'm really excited and I will keep you posted and I will share with you as we go. But so far, I'm loving this space. Just loving it. Um, I have a rug in there and I'm thinking, do I want a rug? Because things fall on the floor, it'd be nice to just sweep it up. But I also got something new. I got a robot that vacuums. Have you seen those? most favorite thing I've bought recently. My daughter got one and I was jealous so I bought one too. That's how I got a lot of things. My Apple Watch because she got one. I mean I'm, I'm a copycat. So I bought the iRobot and it vacuums great. It just does its own thing. I can't say enough about that so maybe I won't have to worry about the rug in the sewing room because if I just let the robot go in there and clean it. Anyways I just wanted to share how excited I am about my new sewing room and yes I'm not in a rush to clean out the old sewing room. I'm pointing because it's right over there. It's for now just going to be a storage closet of sewing supplies. And as time goes and I bring more and more stuff upstairs, eventually nothing is going to be in that storage closet that I want. And I'll just purge it at that time and donate what I don't think I'm ever going to use. If I'm never going to knit again, I'm, I mean, I don't know. Just get rid of some of that stuff. So, <sighs> so I'm excited. What do you think? Isn't this fun? I can't believe how long I've had the same sewing room closet. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. I mean, I'm just going to turn that sewing room into something adorable. I'll see you next time. Bye now.